So you got you got the family here. You got dad and you got the baby, but where's mama? You know, that was the thing. Coke tools. Um, this is from Cansap Knives, and this is called the Corvid, and this is the Corvid XL. I don't know if they call it. Yeah, they do, the XL Corvid here. Coke tool company, okay. And, yeah, that's me. I dyed the scales on this thing. People go, was that just rub off? Shit, I hope not. I don't think so. I don't, I've never had any stuff come off on my hands or anything. That's that liquid writ dye. It gets into that synthetic. It's it's there, buddy. You done. Um, and then here's this mini. Okay, so how insane is this? And does it say mini on here? Yeah, it does. It says mini Corvid. Okay, 154 cm steel. But it's like, hold on. Are we a single parent family? And and how? What are the chances of Junior growing up as a well-adjusted uh, Corvid? You know, if if he doesn't have any maternal influence in his life, I think we need to check into that. Well, here come Mama. Okay, now, <clears throat> sorry about that. Non-birthing parent, birthing parent, and non-aborted fetal being because it's not a boy or girl until it decides what it wants to be you know <sighs> never mind is that enough i mean you're like oh god please don't put me down that rabbit hole again okay never mind dad mom and the kid okay and this one monster even though it's really not that big of a monster, okay? Unless he's been drinking hard liquor. And then he's just, oh, he's so abusive. Okay, uh, let's, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, it's not even a four-inch blade, kind of, kind of, not really, okay? Three and three-quarter, what? What's your problem? Okay, and overall, not even nine inches. Eight and three-quarter. So, but, but baby here is see this is just like a road a brick too far or something i don't know they went daddy and then they went to the mini and i don't mean mini is a mini school uh not even a two i mean yeah what 1.5 1.6 inch blade and three and three quarter overall get out of here so people are going well where's the one that we would probably really carry, and here it is. And it's under three. <sighs> okay. But, I mean, you know, they just seem so much more mm, big, I guess, because of the, the cleaver-style blade, you know, and all that. And it's vicious-ass stuff, isn't it? it? It's wicked, but okay. We're having fun with these, you know. Uh, two and three quarter, 2.65. What do you want to want, want to call it? Not even 70 millimeter, 67, maybe 68 millimeter blade length and six and a quarter overall length. Yeah. Six and a quarter overall length at a 16 centimeter length. So it's not exactly big, is it? Um, this might've should have been the mini. This did not exist. And then there maybe should be somewhere in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like three. I mean, if this is two points, you could have a 3.3 3 inch, 3.25 inch, and seven and a half overall, something like that in here. Or are they just leaving themselves room for another marketing ploy? I, I don't think so. But Now, if they go titanium on this, this will be insane. Okay? But this is, this is what these are all about. And what are you going to pay for it? Well, you start at $65, bucks and then 10% LTK is your discount code, so $6.50 off. So now it's $59, bucks, something like that. No, no shipping, no tax in the U.S. at least. So um, here's this. Like I'm saying, uh, don't you think? Could have been a three-inch blade at least. 
and gone seven something overall length. You know what I mean? For the Midland, Midland. So they made the mom's kind of small. She's probably a size one, and all the women are jealous, you know. Uh, but uh, 4.13. Hold on. Let me, who's going? Okay, you Coke tools. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, and let's see who the fat man is. Because it's never over until that guy sings. Hold on. Get over here. Oh, 242. Dad. Woo. Dad, push away from the table. Get a hold of yourself, buddy. I know the barbecue's good. Um, 116. Okay, Mom. That's more reasonable. Junior? Whew. Uh, somebody got to put some chow on your plate. 38.5. Okay, so let's roll them around to ounces because there's something just ridiculous about you. Okay, one. But what? Come on, man. Okay. Come on. And um, <clears throat> let's try mom or the birthing parent, by the way. Four ounces. Okay, four. Um, um, we can we can live with that. We can live with that. Okay, next. Get your ass over here. Okay, get out of the way. Hold on. This is gonna, this is gonna be a load. Oh, so I mean, you know, you go from four ounces to eight and a half ounces. Sarsly. Sarsly. Um, that is insane. That that's embarrassingly embarrassing. But what a truck. I mean, talk about he's got the whole center. Of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? He's got like from left tackle to right tackle. He's got the guard. He's got the center. Whew, baby. Oh, you'd think, Mama, you could pop out a little bit bigger than that. Um, but, uh, but, Dad, you need to date a woman more your size, you know? This one's kind of small. But it's quite, quite the family, isn't it? Now, Talk about you want to just lose some appendages. Let's play with them. Oh, pretty quick over the detent ball home and swinging around like a chunk of freaking ass 154 that's just wanting to bite you in half. And are you angry about something there, buddy? Oh, okay. Next. Mama, though, you know, she rules the nest, actually. He acts tough. You know who makes the laws, right? Okay, yeah. Absolutely. So, and Mama, you going to cut this or not? You going to stop halfway through? Don't tell me what to do. And, okay, okay. It's over the detent ball at that point. At that point it is. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, yeah. So, all right, and I haven't I haven't messed with that. Uh, I think I took that one apart. I can't remember if I did baby or not, but um, this one I have not, and I will. And we'll see if we can get her to drop like like old dad. Dad drops like he's had way too many natty lights on a Friday night, right after the game. Woo! Whew. That's vicious. Okay. Thank God mom's got control of the keys of the car. Okay, now get out of here. Let's... Shit. You wonder what I do when the camera's not rolling. You know, he's like, what the hell is wrong with this dude? <laughs> okay. And yes, the mini, boom, boom. So what do you think? Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm going to go back and check and see if I can get. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if I could get like a light gray or a tan on these two and then I could dye them. I could have them all the same color or I could do like purple for her or violet and maybe something different for this guy. I don't know. Uh, whatever. But um, this is a monster and I know it's it's just heavy. It's just freaking heavy. But it's a lot of fun. It really is. And can you, yeah, you can finger flick off that fuller, but that fuller's like, you know, it's like the Panama Canal. That is a wide ass fuller. It's like, you could, you know, get your boat through there and woo. Um, 
And this one, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this should have been a little bit bigger, but then again, it's four ounces already, and maybe that's enough for a carry type thing, okay? Not overly proud of... Eh, eh, mm -hmm. It's reasonably decent, sharp, but it's not impressing me in any way, shape, or form, so could have been a little sharper in that regard. Oh, we never did have Junior. Uh, junior. Oh, Junior's as good as mom and dad. There you go. There you go. You cut a rug there, buddy. So, I mean, if we're going to talk about ergos, let's talk about mm, three-finger knife. See, and that's what you get when you get six and a quarter like that or whatever. It's under seven unless, of course, you work your way up and now you can do it. But are you going to be cutting like this? You could be. I mean, you could. Or are you going to go three-finger mode and hang back and you got the jump up here? Okay. Oh, you know what I never did do on mom is a half inch, uh, 13 millimeter blade stock, three mil at 0.11. Now, dad, hold on. Yeah, not much heavier blade stock, 3.4. Um, and you use 15 coming up on six tenths, but 0.58. So, Okay, okay, she's reasonable from blade stock and everything in the junior. Really, they don't make it much thinner. 0.44, and the blade stock is probably 3 mil, actually. Yeah, it still is 3 mil, so, okay. So, I mean, you, you can only make them so thin and whatever, so uh, it is what it is. There is no ergos here. This is two-finger territory here. And, uh, but it's something where, you know, you could put that on a lanyard and just, uh, or, you know, a lanyard, like key lanyard or a lanyard around your neck and carry that around your neck, maybe with a detachable, you know, clip or something. And you could just, and then pop it off and, and go, you know what I'm saying? Um, this one, yeah, now this is for pocket carry, and the pocket clip is okay. It's deep carry. It's not reversible. It's not reversible on any of them. Oh, okay. Um, oof. It's carryable, okay? It's carryable. It's not comfortable carryable, but it's carryable. But I'm glad that they did it. I mean, these without dad... It'd be a lost generation, my friends. A lost generation. That's for sure. Okay, so what are we going to do and where are we going to do it from? I don't know. Let's go to the backside, test the waters. And I don't like the way that's testing. So let's go to the front. I don't want to put too much pressure on anything until I kind of get a feel for it. Okay, and I think this whole thing is spinning on me. Hold on. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Let's attack it. Uh, I mean, we uh, can use both of our good screwdrivers and see who's going to break. And he's not going to break. So let's try this one. Let's hold it this way and take it from the front. Let's see if this breaks away. If this doesn't, then I'm terrified. <laughs> oh, it does, finally. Did we get enough thread locker in you? We got something in there. Holy cannoli. Yeah, I mean, the more I look at it, the more I can see there was something in those threads. Something. Whew. We got you done, though, didn't we? Now we got number eights on the body. Are you going to come quietly? 
Okay. Okay. Let's see if uh, we can get the scale off. We can do that. Okay. Those are the same length. Yes. There's the scale. Got some grunge under it, doesn't it? Oof. A little dark. Um, pull this. Okay. Well, that doesn't look bad. Okay. Next. Oh, this is all presentation. Sorry. Because I'm, I'm sitting here looking at this going, wow. Okay. Yeah. Need a little cleanup on aisle six. And, uh, Let's get these uh, out. Okay, so we've got the bearings, and they are ceramic bearings. So you do get that. Skeletonized liners. Um, there's your there's your stop. So you're rolling with that. Your detent hole, etc., etc. Okay. And then you've got this on the other side, which is a ceramic detent ball. Kind of you got your little race that's put around here as well for your bearings to run in. And this, my friends, is perfectly round. And, uh, and we, you know, I mean, I guess orange is going to show the dirt if it, if anything does. But yeah, that's, it's got some stuff there. All right, we are going to put it back together regardless. Um, <clears throat> and did we come from the back? Yes, we did. I mean, we came from the front, but I mean, we're going to put it back together like yay from the back. And we're going to put some unbearables on here. Well, okay. Then what do we got? Yeah. We got you a blade. And then we'll have to compress the lock bar. And of course, this runs on that track. And so it will not hit those. And it will not. Okay, good. And bearings. Back at you. Boom, boom. Now we have. The other part, which is this liner, and we can see how that stop runs, and it's right, comes to a halt there, but okay, we got this, and we got this, and let's make this so, number one. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, you know what? Yeah. And sometimes I'll do that. I'll just work this in and out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of peeling off that that thread locker in there and going another half a turn and working it out to where I don't have to help it from the other side anymore to stay because I don't need that much. Okay, so now I'm solid. And I didn't need to hold it steady with the other side there. Okay, now. And maybe just you could just take that and just put it in some solvent to dissolve the other stuff as well. And why am I doing that when I've got this? Oh, now it sits down in there. Okay. And uh, come here. You are magnetic, aren't you? And go in there. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's open design, big old thick standoffs and all that. I don't know. Um, if you're going to do a lanyard thing, it would have been nice to have a little piece of backspacer wrap around there and then kind of tube that lanyard hole. But, okay, you know, if you want to get picky... And I think we I think we got that cranked down enough. Oh, okay, this is the way we were messing with it though. Okay, 
Yeah, I think I got a little aggressive with that. And uh, that's better. Okay, I wonder if I can make it even more better. Okay, now. I mean, some knives just never are super drop shutty. Um, and some take a while to kind of get there with and including some various uh, adjustments on the pivot. And let me look around the camera. It's still centered. Let me see if we got any play. Hold on. Mm, infinitesimal amount. Uh, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to really worry about too much there. Okay. Okay, we're good. So we're all in the family, right? You go, Mom, you've had your surgery. No more kids for you. And uh, it's, uh, we lubed her bearings. And uh, we got them all together again. So why the uh, and what is Coke Tools going to do next? I don't know. I'm trying to think. What would they do next? What could it possibly? Oh, my God, the KTC3. Maybe that could be what they're going to do next. Video coming soon to a crazy channel near you. All right, get out of here. And sub to this channel. And, oh, use that tip jar down below. You see that down there? You can put $800 in there <laughs> or whatever. And stay sharp.